Hi, I'm Christine. I work at the Holabrook branch of the Mercer County Library System, and today I am going to show you how to make bouncing bubbles. It's a simple process, and you only need three ingredients for the bubble solution. You need distilled water, dish soap, and glycerin. Now, if you don't have any distilled water at home, you can buy some at the store, or you can make your own. Distilled water is basically water that's been purified by boiling it and letting it recondense. So I made mine at home, um, and this is how I did it quickly. You can look this up online to get detailed instructions, but I'll just give you a quick rundown. Now you fill a big pot with water. In that water, you want to float a bowl. So it can be either a glass or a metal bowl, and you want it to float right in the water in the pot. And then you put the lid on the pot, but upside down so that it's concave. If you want, you can put some ice on top of the lid, which will help it go faster, but that's not totally necessary. Um, so then you uh, put that water on your stove, let it boil, and you will see that as it starts to evaporate, it will condense on the lid of the pot and then drip down into the bowl. So what collects into that bowl floating in the water is your distilled water. Um, so you want one cup of distilled water, dish soap, and then glycerin you can get at a drugstore or you can order it online if you don't have any at home. So what you want is to mix together one cup of distilled water, one tablespoon of dish soap, and one teaspoon of glycerin. Um, and then you're going to mix them nice and well, and then you're going to let it sit for about 24 hours. Um, and after that 24 hours, you'll be ready to blow your bubbles. Now when you're blowing your bubbles, you're going to need a bubble wand. I didn't happen to have a bubble wand right here, so I made a bubble wand out of a pipe cleaner, which works just fine. Um, you can also use a straw as your bubble wand. That works as well. Um, and then you're also going to need a glove. Now, um, when you are bouncing these bubbles, if you do it directly on your skin, they're more likely to pop. The oils in your skin tend to pop the bubbles. But if you wear a glove, um, or a sock will work if you wear a sock on your hand, then you should be able to bounce your bubbles. Now, I have some solution here that I made yesterday, so it's been sitting 24 hours and it should be ready to go. So to help me demonstrate the bouncing, I'm gonna bring my kids over here, James and Charlie. Come on over. All right, are you guys ready to bounce some bubbles? Yes. All right, so that's our bouncing bubble recipe. Um, simple to make and fun to play with. Enjoy. 